Hi, my name is Anika and welcome to the Home Automation X channel. Thank you for watching. We did videos on several types of garage door controllers and we just received this one from Alci Day and I am going to be putting it through the test and seeing how it holds up. Before we get into this video, all that I ask is that you subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon to be notified, which will also notify you when we go live during our live streams. Now, if you shop on Amazon, you can help us out by using any of our links down below like this one right here and for other countries we put links in every one of our videos. Finally, supporting us on Patreon allows you to see videos weeks before anyone else, videos not on YouTube and exclusive photos and Instagram pics. Personally, I like the fact that this one has a live camera built into it. You can easily verify if your door is open or closed and with the built-in magnet, it can stick to the bottom of your garage door opener. The 1080p camera is always on and can alert you when the motion is detected. So it's not just a garage door controller, but a security camera too. This is a good feature if someone decides to walk into your garage and snoop around as you will be notified on your phone or your tablet. They also have optional cloud recording if you want to review the history of your recordings. So I will go into the garage shortly to set it up, but basically you download the Alcide, Alcide app, follow the prompts to connect the camera to your Wi-Fi and then use the wires to connect it to the open and closed terminals on your opener. You don't need such a long wire, but they give you the option to mount the camera anywhere in your garage if you wish. I will mount it directly under the opener. So let's go ahead and get into the garage. Disclaimer. My garage is a little messy right now, but we won't look there. Okay, we're gonna look right here. I'm gonna climb up this ladder and show you guys exactly what is going on here. So I've got my camera, which is magnetically chilling up here. And I can position it like this, like that. I can rotate it just like that. Pretty cool. And then I got my wire that I've already cut up and I've already got the ends split as you can see. Now I have one side connected into um, my actual garage opener there and now I'm going to just take the other two ends and literally just push this in, push it in here, push it in here. So I have a power cable here, which I'm gonna connect up to my power bar that I have right up there and I'm not tall enough. So you know what? Let me do this for you guys. No, you know what? I'm not doing this right now. <laughs> Knowing me, I'll probably fall clumsy. <laughs> all right, so now that we have it all set up above myself here, we are gonna go into the app and we're gonna go ahead and um, show you guys I'm gonna click on me here. It's just loading, okay? So we have two-way audio here on the bottom left and in order to open and close the garage door, I'm literally just going to press the green button and you'll see here behind me, there it is closing and I'm gonna stop it and I'm gonna open it and you can also share this with your friends and your family. It also works out to be a wonderful security camera in case you wanna keep an eye out on anybody in the garage. Maybe you have that one son that runs to the garage to have that cigarette. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching you. <laughs> so there you have it. You have your garage camera installed. Before I show you the settings in the app, I will say this is not a bad security camera slash garage opener. Not only can you control your garage door, but you can trigger alerts on motion and sound. The only thing I would like to see is a built-in SD card for local storage. Currently, your option is to pay $5 per month to see your recordings. So I'm gonna quickly go over the settings in the app. From the home screen, you could open and close your door. You can take a snapshot of your current image and also see your recorded alerts if you pay $5 per month for cloud storage. 
If I click on the image, I get more options. I can record the video locally to my phone or tablet and also have a two-way conversation. If I click on the gear icon at the top, I can turn off alarm notifications and also choose if I want to trigger on motion or sound alerts. Um, now under device settings, I have infrared night visions set to auto. And finally under picture, picture, picture direction, you could have the video inverted if you mount the camera upside down like I did. And that is all the important settings in the app. This is not the end, so don't go anywhere, guys. I ask that you please share this video if you found it useful. Also, there are these videos here on the side that you can also check out. The video on the top is the most recent one, and below this is my recommended video just for you guys. Please click on either one and check them all out if you'd like. I'd appreciate all the support that you guys have been um, providing us, and we are so grateful. We're going to see you guys next time. Until then, goodbye.